This segment is being brought to you by Tennessee Wildlife Resources Agency. Join us in preserving and protecting Tennessee's wildlife. All right, welcome back, everyone. And you can call us here at 737-7767. We'll try to answer your questions. Uh, we may need to get some help on some of these every now and then. But till those phone calls start coming in, I want to talk just a little bit about Co Cove Creek. Carter Cove. Carter Cove graphics. I'm sorry, I'll get it right here in a minute. And I get confused, too, just like everybody else. But now, now Burl, you, you started off... Uh, you did Adams, made it to the Bassmaster Classic with it. That had to have been a great feeling for you. That was pretty pretty cool to see it, you know, go around the crowd <laughs> knowing that. Even driving you know, through to get to the stage, and man, that, the, and you designed it and all that, and, he, and then it comes by the stage, and Adam brings out the fish, and, and we got to say, Adam did very well at that tournament also. Top it's, 10. Top 10, and. <laughs> Boy, couldn't have been, I mean, he had to know that all of Tennessee was rooting him on. I mean, I looked at Facebook, everybody's like, go, Adam, go. And uh, we got our own Tennessee guy up there, you know, so it made everybody kind of feel good. Oh, yeah. But that, that coming through with that boat like that looked great. On TV, it looked even better. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but tell us, I mean, people don't think that there's a lot into it, and, and it's not just a vinyl wrap because it's special materials. I found out, I've done my homework too, it's special materials, it's a special process of putting it on. Uh, can you explain a little bit more? Yeah, it's, uh, you know, I mean, you can get different materials and stuff to put on them, but there are certain materials on these boat wraps. I guess when you're installing, you've got them on, you know, a year down the road or five years down the road, you want to take it off. If you don't get somebody that knows what they're doing with the installation as far as the materials and things, when you get ready to take that off, you're going to pay for it because it's going to take you two, three oh, days, yeah. and you're not going to have any fingernails left trying to pull it. But, I mean, if you get somebody who knows about these wraps and things, you know, installation, I had, I used the same material that I had when I had the Zorro Bait Company. Well, look, look at our screen right here. This this boat right here that we're showing right here. Now, that's that. you told me that's a, a guy that... Uh, and that's a very nice looking boat yeah, that's too. A, that's an older Ranger. It come in, it had been set out in the weather, was uh, faded out, it just, the gel coat just was bad, you know, on it. Uh, we took that thing, cleaned it up, put that wrap on it. That boat looks like a new boat. It I sure mean, does. Uh, so this there. is it's a great thing. And it, uh, Say the husband wants a new boat, but the wife says no. You're going to live with your old one. Exactly. He can still make it look new. Exactly. All he's got to do is give you a call. It, it, that's right. And it's and this, and this wrapping, if you wrap a boat or wrap a fish, it's 100% tax deductible off of your business. Uh, really? Yes. It's 100% tax deductible on your business. And it's a traveling billboard. I mean, you know, I guess if, if you've got a billboard somewhere, say you've got one out here on 40, just the people that travel on 40 is going to see that billboard. If you've got this boat wrap, whether you're going through Mount Juliet, whether you're going, this thing is running around, right. whether you're on the water, it's great advertisement. If, and whether you're on a business or not, if you could, you know, talk to a business that's got a business that, that's out there, you know, and it protects your boat. Yes, you know, it, it does. It's, I mean, and I, I know we've talked a lot about Adam, but Adam's a big fisherman in this country, <laughs> and he fit, and let me tell you something, his boat, it's a tool. I mean, right. it's a tool to him. It's just like a carpenter's got a hammer, that boat's a tool. And it don't matter whether it's buck bush or what if he wants to go to that back one he's going to drive it through it and and <laughs> i mean he, this wrap i mean it's amazing you know we've uh we, he's had you know put road wraps put on took off and it's amazing we take that off how how clean and, and new that boat looks I oh mean, yeah it's, it's amazing hey we got some phone calls here guys we got to take pat pat how can we help you tonight yes i was wondering if you could tell me where do you think be the best place if you don't have a boat to bank fish uh, well, let me ask you this. Where where you live close to? Davidson County. Okay. Um, I'm going to say Percy Priest. Percy Priest will probably be there. Yeah. Uh, got some great places to go. Stewart's Creek has got a nice, nice place that you can go to from the bank. Matter of fact, it's got concreted walkways around Stewart's Creek area. And it looks like an obstacle course for a fish if, you, <laughs> if you've ever seen the brush they put in there. And in Viver Creek. Um, now, where is the Stewart Creek area? Stewart Creek is on the Smyrna side, or yes, yeah, Smyrna and Laverne side of Percy Priest. It's uh, okay. 
it's really right across from Fate Sanders. I mean, uh, if you're coming from Murfreesboro or Smyrna or Laverne, you'll get to Stewart Creek before you'll get to Fate Sanders. If you get to Fate Sanders, you've gone a little too far. But okay. uh, it's right around the Fate Sanders area, right across, really right across the, the river there. So we hope that helps you. <laughs> and what type of uh, charge do they have now for temporary license, or do, or do you have to buy the year license? No, ma'am, you do not. You can buy a, a, a three-day, a seven-day, um, I believe I believe it's just a three-day and a seven-day, seven day. and then the one year. Uh, but now one year is like 20, 28 Four, bucks. 28 bucks. I think it's 28 bucks for a one year. Um, I'm not sure what the seven day is. I think it's like ten or eleven bucks. I think it was like three day seven dollars. Seven dollars, something like, like that. Five so it's it's not very expensive, um, but you can get them at Fight Sanders if you want to go over there. Fight Sanders sells them. Walmart, or you can get them online if you go to tnwildlife.org, and you can buy them online. Okay. Wonderful. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Good day. Good day. And Don, Don, how can we help you? I just wonder what kind of license you'd have to have to uh, sell catfish commercially if you caught them with a unit or a trot line. Burl? I don't think you do. <laughs> I don't. A gill net's illegal, period. Yeah, now it? gill nets are. Uh, well, there's still a couple of places that they, the commercial guys commercial can use. Commercial guys can use it. Yeah, below, uh, below uh, 109. Right, below 109 yeah. Bridge on Old Hickory yeah. in the Cumberland yeah. River. But now they can't sell catfish. Oh, I'm, I'm so, more of a sports fish. I mean, yeah. you know, the end with the bass and the blue. TWRA question. question. Yeah, that's what a TWRA question. It is a little bit out of our realm, but I know, one, uh, I know that you can do carp, buffalo, drum, those type of fish. Catfish is considered a game fish in Tennessee. So, yeah, game fish, uh, game fish you can't do. Uh, yeah. um, and one, there's one month in the year, May, I believe it is, where you can catch spoonbills. Uh, but that's it. Um, that's yeah. about it. Well, right what there. about trot lines? Now, trot lines you can, you can use. All you have to have is a regular fishing license uh, to do trot lines. And you're on your trot line, you can have no more than 50 hooks per person on that trot line, and it does have to be tagged with your name, address, phone number, and your license number. Uh, and so they got some little prerequisites there, but uh, trot line is a great thing to do. Uh, I don't know about selling them though. Uh, you still sell, selling game fish in Tennessee is illegal. Uh, I will say that. Okay. okay. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. And we got Steve. Steve, how can we help you tonight? Yeah, hey, thanks for taking my call. You. Sure. I just got a little comment, uh, especially around the holidays coming up, about uh, uh, when you're, you're launching on your ramp, sir. I'm on page 25 of the uh, fishing guide that states in there, you know, the boating regulations and suggestions. And I'm just like anybody else. I would love to get on the water first. But uh, there's a courtesy thing about uh, getting ship shape or make ready before you get to the ramp. Right. But tell these people don't tie up the ramp, be courteous. You know, it's just like being in a grocery store and somebody, you got two items and somebody's got a buggy pulling a pole right in front of you. So nobody's going to allow that. And especially this time of year, somebody's going to get a uh, confirmation, I'm sure, over the holidays. <laughs> and I, I say it all the time. And let's think, put out to your listeners and watchers that, you know, a little common courtesy. And it's, it's not just pleasure voters. It's it's, it's everybody. You're right. You're right, and and he's right. I mean, my goodness, the, the weather gets hot. It gets sticky out there. Tempers are easily flared, oh, yeah. uh, especially if you got uh, four or five youngsters going. You know, when are we going to get there? When are we going to go to the water? When, you, exactly. You're waiting at the ramp. I, you know, I I know what you're saying, and and um, no, nope. try the ramp up for five minutes at least. And you're great. And you're right. Preparation at home uh, would solve a lot of problems. Uh, put but your plug. Not at home, but you do it. Yeah. In the in the ship shape lane. Yeah. If you put your ramp stuff. Place your pull up. Make make ready. That's right. Put your stuff in the boat before you get there. Put your ice. Put the put the plug in. Get it all trim. The only thing I would suggest not to do is mess with the motor as far as the trim on the motor. Yeah. Leave right. that alone. But that only takes seconds to do. 
uh, when you get there. So uh, have your designated driver. You'd be surprised how many people I see out there. Well, you, you pull it out. No, you pull it out. No, you pull it out. You know, have a designated driver. Somebody's going to drive the truck or the vehicle, and somebody's going to drive the boat. I'm, I'm an overtired part, so I don't go out on the weekends anyway. That's, that's for the amateurs, I think, fishermen. <laughs> leave, leave that to the pleasure boaters and whatever, but, you know, not, not for me. But, uh, hey, I appreciate you taking my call. Thank you, Steve. We appreciate it. Have a great fourth. And we got Mo. Mo, how can we help you tonight? Good afternoon. How in the world are you? We're doing better than we deserve. <laughs> well, uh, sounds like Dave Ramsey to me. That's right. That's right. <laughs> uh, I, you know, used to a few years ago, I had to I had to catfish every, once every week, and and I outgrew that. Uh, I got it got away from it. Uh -huh. And I never knew catfish was a game fish. You said it was a game fish, right? Yeah, it, it's considered a game fish here in Tennessee. Uh, uh, the reason the reason that they did that, and I believe, and I don't know fully, but bow fishing has gotten to be a kind of a hot little item uh, that a lot of people are getting into. Uh, they're spending thousands of dollars to equip themselves to go bow That's fishing. Well, I was gonna, I, that, that was question number two. I hear you talk about bass uh, pro shop or such and such or, right. or, or some boating. I just wondered what it would cost to customize a catfish rig on a on a 14, 16 foot aluminum boat motor and trailer. Uh, My deal is be is which way do you want to catch catfish? You know, you want to do it with a, with a tight lines, you want to do it with limb lines, you want to do it trot lines, or you want to do it rod and reel. Uh, jugging? Uh, I forgot about jugging. From the rear, tight line. That's right. That's right. Jugging though has gotten to be real big. Uh, I love to chase jugs. Do noodling with your arm. No, let's, you don't even need a boat for that. Just forget Burl. Uh, that's, show him your hand, Burl. <laughs> but I tell you what, you know, uh, uh, it is a great method. Uh, you're right about that. But I believe. That they made the the game fish thing because of the bow fishing uh, guys were out there, and it's illegal for you to bow fish catfish. Uh, you can't do largemouth bass or smallmouth bass. You can't do yeah. striper. Uh, so I think that's the reason that they kind of had to segment what's considered a game fish and what's considered uh, not a not a trash fish because they don't call them trash. But uh, even the Asian carp is considered a nuisance. So, um, hey, but we got to go. But, Mo, we appreciate you very much, brother. Yes. Thank you, Mo. I, I appreciate it, Mo. We got to do our tip of the week right now. So, uh. so, this week's tip of the week is being brought to you by America's Motorsports with two Middle Tennessee locations. Check us out at www.americasmotorsports.com. All right, I got this for Burl. Burl, let me ask you a question, because you fish without them all the time, and I want, I'm picking your brain here just a little bit, okay? This is the end. Well, summer actually started, but now we're starting to get these cold fronts coming through. And it, it, you don't see the weather change, the water temp, more than two or three degrees at the max. Are you going to change your, your game plan? What does it do to the fish when these cold fronts come through? Like, we got one coming through right now. I don't know. I mean, it may pull them out where they suspend. Uh, you know, it may be a little bit harder to catch, but this time of year, it's not going to stay cold over a day or two. You know, no. it may straighten up, but there, it's going to go back. I, I wouldn't I wouldn't change my game plan at all. You know, I mean, I would stick to pretty much, uh, you know, what, what you want to do. I mean, now there's there's, uh, there's deep fish to be caught right now, but there's shallow fish. There's fish in this much water. Uh, you're exactly <laughs> Big right. Biggins. We, biggins. <laughs> biggins. Biggins. That's right. That's right. Hey, we, we appreciate Burl giving us that tip. We're going to take another break right now. When we come back, Joy's got a patriotic, patriotic, a patriotic dish for us. And Ty Campbell, my favorite grandson in the whole wide world, is going to help her with it. Hurry back to more Southern Woods of Water. 